What's up guys, welcome back, I'm Delifix. we are currently fighting a war against Muscovy. We're going to be slowly working our way towards our war goal, and when we are there, I'm going to, uh, well, probably disattach an army of 10,000, and they will start to get rid of all of these occupants, and get rid of those rebels as well, because they are quite annoying. We have to be careful because my mind power is quite low. We have a maximum of 100,000. And I can actually press this button twice if I want to. But getting salaried soldiers would be quite nice. And working this way up there. So currently, let us just unpause. There's not much else that I think I need to be doing right now. Let us take a look. Mm, yeah, we. I would like to go into like Savoy, but he's been in a war with Genoa. So if we can get... Yeah, we probably are going to be flipping Protestant right after this war. Um, we'll have some moments where we will have to defend from rebels. Uh, but when we inherit... All of this, I'm, I'm sure that um, actually um, Holland will break away for becoming Protestant. I think that is eventually going to happen. Uh, I, it's, I think it's actually one of those um, crises that will happen for, for the, uh, the Dutch culture. So let us unpause and let us put one guy again on... You know what, put one on Outraged and own Subjects. Unless they keep idling. No, there we go. There we go. So, slowly. Slowly working our way up there. Okay, once you take it, you go here. Uh, once we take the war goal, then that would be quite, quite good. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to make sure that we get rid of those damn, damn pest of the rebels. Uh, while keeping a good eye on where the Muscovian armies are. I don't want to be cold with my pens down because there they are, like 18,000 troops already. So once we take the war goal, I think it is a good moment to actually end um, the fight. You're going over there. Where are you going? You go over there. Okay, you two go here. You head on over there. So we're about to take this. Um, they're going to be on and we're going to be assisting him. Uh, with the army that's in here, just assisting to retake his capital, and he can unsiege everything else that belongs to him. Maybe just send. Oh wow, look at that! That's a lot of troops there. That is, uh, well, let's just say it's forty thousand troops. Kind of don't want to fight those, especially not with my fractured army. Uh, but like I said, we need the um, the war wall. You are going over there, and you can stay over here. And you can stay over there. And we'll just reinforce uh, my troops here. So we'll wait. Oh, we, um, we actually gained corruption. That is just amazing. Yeah, we need to deal with these rebels because they are getting quite annoying. Let's take all of that. And we'll see if we can actually take this. It's actually more about reconquest and breaking truces, breaking those alliances currently. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Go there. Uh, we'll just wait over here, reinforce. Um, another one. Oh, damn. Separatist, what do you want? Free nation. I cannot have that. I cannot have that. We definitely want to deal with this. So there is the... Um, there it is. Let's take a look what we can actually take. Let's uh, pull this guy back. It's not that far away. Now, war reps, we don't need to humiliate. I want to be annulling treaty. The Ottomans is no longer part of that? Really? We can release Novgorod. Interesting. We could actually attack that and vassalize him. Might not be such a bad idea, actually, to do that. It, but it is just four areas. We don't need to do, we can just take it and release, but this way we would have to, it's just for Diplo actually, wow, that is not expensive at all, interesting, 
Uh, to Denmark? No. Uh, where's Finland? What is Finland's icon again? It's over here. It's Swedish. To Denmark. Great Horde. What if we clear offer? Would they be in here now? No. Mm. Yeah, releasing Novgorod. And then attacking him. Specializing him. Let's take a look. How many slots do we actually have? We're on 11 of 9. And 1, 2, 3 are military axes. So we can actually break those. Yeah, we can do that. Or we can just take this and then release it as a vessel, which I think is better. Because I don't need to fight that additional war. So that would be... Three, four, like this, something like that, right? And then we have Novgorod and we can declare war for more. And I would like to get a lot of your cash because I would like to pay off my loans. At least a few of them. And this will definitely hurt their income. Uh, war reps and... Military axis, rival, rival, and uh, rival. So no alliances. Do I want to do more to them? Uh, we could do that, attack him. And uh, we'll probably get a lot of reconquest from that. I don't care for you. But with this one we can actually do not a whole bunch. Coalition wise, it's just England to actually cast. How much would it be? I think this is not a bad idea. We can just take it for ourselves and then release him. Like this. Still only England. Let's do it. Let's do this. So there's the truce. There's the peace deal. We're going to be releasing. Sorry, that's over here. Uh, Novgorod, if it's in here right now. There we go, Novgorod. We have Novgorod again. We can actually start integrating like Finland. Um, what else do we want? Province, Dauphin. It's probably at the bottom here somewhere. So that's over here. It's these two provinces. Are there... Is there more? Is there more in this? Let's see. It's all Muscovy and... Yeah, I don't think that is that interesting. Maybe they hold claims? No, that's not true. Do they hold anything against them? But having Novgorod over here is actually not that bad. Uh, what kind of missions do you have? Do I want to... I would like to release this into Novgorod because it's... Him we'll actually feed all of this into Novgorod. So we don't have to deal about any of it. So, go over here. Novgorod it should be very happy. Grant the province. And we'll grant you. And we'll grant you. What else? Finland. Yeah, there's actually not a lot of use I'll have for Finland anymore. But having Novgorod in here, I think it's just good. Let's take a look here. Novgorod. Uh, so it's all, uh, all about reconquest in this. Yeah. Gains permanent claims. So once we take this, we'll get a lot of claims. So in the next war, we're going to be definitely focusing on uh, Novgorod over there. So let's us get my troops. Hmm. They're black flagged. Well, not anymore, of course, but... Send you in here. Let's make some groups. I can never click this one. Uh, we're going to be breaking the alliance. We're going to be sending troops over here. For sure. We cannot cross all of this. So we'll have a diplomat. What is it that you want? Oh yeah, we're waiting for 20% over there. So we will definitely want to hold on to that. Let's see. Interest of three... Let's repay the loan, especially the bank loan. And it is this year, actually, in November, they will start asking for it. So we might as well just go for it. 
and we're going to be reinforcing quite a bit. I would like to keep my forts active for now. And let's group these guys up. You go here. Let's see what kind of an army we get. We have a template. We have a template. But what's the combat width? It's 25. And the template we have is 24. That is one too few. Stop that. Let's remove this. We'll make a new one. So 21, 4, and it's 4, to 5 template. There we go. So once they merge up, we're going to make a few armies and we'll deal with these um, annoying Danish rebels. Did you break free? No, you're still a vassal. Where's my rebels? Where are those rebels? Danish. Independence of Denmark and province. We'll have to deal with that. And we will. And we're going to be flipping Protestant and people will bloody hate me for it. These guys can do whatever they do best. Uh, my ships. 13 small ships. Well. Oh well. Send you over there. I believe the, um, yeah, the supply limit is 28. And it's 20 over. I think it's one of the best supply limits in this, uh, this region. So we can just do this. And say all of you go there. We definitely want to deal with that uh, with that annoying um, rebels and then flip Protestant. We have a center of religion over here that's Protestant, and there is reformed, reformed, reformed. It's all Reformation. Protestant, Protestant. Yeah, if we can spread it into, like, Castile, then that would not be bad. So, let's go. It's been uh, something that has been suggested to me several times. So, click this damn button, and let's go ahead and go Protestant. And now we'll have something like a crisis coming in. Uh, get him. We'll get a new advisor, I think. No. Corruption is not really growing there's just a bunch of corruption let's just make sure we get rid of that and we can lower army maintenance actually it will be lowered uh the second we stop reinforcing let's also click this so we can actually reinforce with twenty three thousand. how much do we need Twelve thousand. so yeah let's go over there and get all of my guys together let's Uh, claims on Moscovy. Let's take a look at Novgorod here. No actual claims yet. And I cannot do claims because this is not my territory. So I'm very, very much relying on him. I should have taken claims earlier on. Okay, that might be a dumb idea. While we take Finland, we integrate Finland. So we can stay, take these claims, but not right now. So how... Finland. Annex Vassal. Let's confirm that. How long will it take? There is a revolt. Yeah, we'll have to deal with that. We'll send an army in here and the other army will go into the mainland. And just hopefully we can deal with the rest. Uh, we'll tell us the Protestant erected. The Protestant taking over more than the Catholic countries are fewer people... 40 days, the proper Catholic cannot eat the meat for some fish. So, is this saying, like, we are going Protestant? Uh, uh, where can I see that? It's Catholic still. I just need you to flip. <laughs> just flip Protestant, dude. Seriously, I need that. Uh, there's the looming disaster. It will definitely trigger. Novgorod will take that. We'll start converting... Territory in here. Let's start with Paris. Let's go with... Can we do the missionary strength? No? Uh, enforce religious unity. Yeah, I'll take that. And let's start over here. And we'll do um, state by state. And hopefully that will be enough to stop the majority of those fighters. Let's group you guys up and create template. That This army is going right over there. So it's out of the way. 
and the others will just group up. Uh, let's repay the loan, repay that loan, and we're now actually bond free. That is new. Let's. L Do I want to lower army maintenance currently? Let's take a look. I can drop that. No, I don't want that. We can actually lower it. Well, we'll have to take a loan. But we can do the estate loans, right? They are cheap loans and I see no reason not to take them. Uh, where are you? Let's take those. So we don't need a bank loan and we'll pay them back. We'll pay them back. We can actually use this. Let's take a look. Uh, that's nice trade. Taxation. Let's do some more of that. Production. Eh, not really into that right now. Manufacturing. Oof. Well, not not too, too much. I need some more navy. I would like the more... We're gaining 44 and we're using 14. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do those. And regiment camp, we're not at force limit yet, so we don't really need them. How is my government currently? Well, it's not too bad. Should we boost? No, I kind of want to finish this one before we do anything else. Get the juice vault. Let's get rid of those. We'll wait over here. Those guys are on the move. These guys group up. And make template. You stay over there. The others, the other 13,000, will just move to another province. And... I cannot reach there. I need to do this by coast. Let's move you over there. And we definitely have to destroy these guys before they are free and become part of Denmark. Uh, religious unity. We're now doing Paris. Let's do that one as well. We'll do as much as possible. I should have done... Um, I should have clicked one of these, actually. Oh, we, oh, actually, we are doing these two, so that's good. We got two ministers doing some work and with the Center of Reformation doing the same thing over there. So 11,000, let's start moving you. The Danish separatists, yeah, we definitely want to get rid of them. Um, the other army is on the move there, getting over that region. And then we'll start sending guys back over here and dealing with the, uh, the other separatists. Estates will lose loyalty, we'll lose money, and we'll lose prestige. Um, but the estate will lose... Loyalty and influence. And influence is quite high, so I'll we'll lose the five uh, prestige. And uh, let's start breaking. Okay. He didn't like that province, but we'll actually, once we are reformed, we're going to be uh, telling the same thing to, to my guys here. We need to. We don't need to break you. Let's take a look here uh, Lithuania, uh, Austria, and Venice. So, Lithuania, Austria, and Venice. And they're crossing borders now. Let's go deal with them. My guy is back in seven days. Four days. So, Austria. And we'll go Venice as well. Just 5 mil? Wow, national focus. Okay. Okay, so they are gone. Okay, group up. Get over there then. Whatever. Agent was discovered. That is no big deal. Um, kind of hope that Novgorod will start to make those claims. Um, they are working as best as they are able to. Okay, here's the juice fault. And uh, we can actually focus on getting technology again. Cleansing the heresy of Sweden. Interesting. Okay, those guys are gone. We are going to be... How many provinces are these? It's actually one, two... Yeah, just two. So split up. 
One stays over there, the other will move over in that region. You go over there. Can we just group you up? Why can we not group you up? Stop being so annoying. Okay, you. Let's start sending you over to friends. Uh, since we can actually build up that uh, army completely, I think. Let's take a look. Yeah, we can just... We, no, we can do four more. We'll no longer steer trade. Okay, we'll have to deal with England. Uh, actually, we could grow Scotland. Uh, if we grow Scotland right now, we'll get claims all over England. Now, we've joined the Reformation a bit late. You may, uh, so, it's going to take us some time to actually get... The wars caused against other religious, unifying cultures. Let's take a look if there's anything we can unify. There's not much I can do here. Don't want to strengthen the government yet. Don't need that. Free policy available. Yeah, that's not interested currently. Not interested in that. Is there anything I can do to slow this down? I don't have humanists. So, yeah, that's a problem. Uh, religious, uh, has enabled religious ideas, so that's plus one. As uh, Protestant reformed center, negative one. So, at least it's not growing as much. We'll have some time to deal with it. And the first one, I think, would be like missionary strength. Don't think there is... Yeah, maybe... No, national unrest would not help with that. So, uh, but idea cost and stuff like that is really interesting. Uh, I think we need to get this army. Like, the second he is done, we'll need to get this army over here and deal with England. Who is England's ally? Sweden? Would they all join? Would they actually join against me? Like, Sweden is not a problem. I really don't care about that. Uh, but we definitely want to make sure that we... Yeah, we'll get Anna. Oh, yeah, okay, we'll get Finland. That is good. And do we have some territory here that belongs to Novgorod? Not really, no. Muscovy in Denmark. Start making claims, dude. Seriously, I need you to start making claims. So, we'll go here and... Get all of this done. I know that we need to go downwards, and we will. Once we have a strong vassal, we have plenty of time. Get into Perm and see what he will do, since he is currently being annexed. Can we support your independence? Uh, no, he's way too loyal for that. Such a damn shame. Such a damn shame. Once we take England, getting all of this would be quite nice. So we get plenty of money now just to um, reform. And there is one more. So let's go send this guy over here. And next up would be him. And once that's done, we can actually uh, get that state edict away from it. And we'll move on to the next one. And I believe that the, um, the center of reformation should be changing this slowly as well. So, all in due time, I guess. All in due time. I really... Usually, I really hate this uh, this period in the game. Uh, we'll do, use these guys over here to deal with Sweden once we declare on England. Uh, move over there. Uh, he's now currently moving my army in this region, which is good. Yeah, Finland's definitely not really worth it to hold on to. And we're gaining prestige, which is good. So, should I not do this right now? And say, I want you to reinfor uh, enforce religion. I think that's way better. Let's return that. Let's go enforce religion. And if I enforce religion with him, he's going to be pissed. You can pay off your debt. Uh, we, need, we need to improve our relation with him. Uh, Novgorod. Let's do that as well. Scotland. Scotland is currently changing to Protestant. 
That is very good. Let's hit that button as well. And I want all of you to be on aggressive. Are you all flipping now? Apart from... Finland. Enforce that religion. And... Burgundy, we need to enforce. And we need to improve. For sure. So everyone is now starting to flip Protestant. And once they're done, we can actually do this. Uh, Scotland apparently is almost... Almost there. So let's uh, let's feed territory into Scotland. Grant province. Yeah, yeah, grant. Need to click this button first, otherwise it won't work. Um, how much do we actually need? Their country, government, go Scotland. So they're now at 47. We need, um, we need 70. So let's grow Scotland a tiny bit more. Uh, sit one more. Let's do this one. There we go. So we should now get the mission. And we will get claims on England. These guys are now finally there. Just one more troop. And we need this general. We need this guy to deal with this uh, rebel pest. So let's get a general in there. Send you over there. Uh, 13,000 is enough. We'll take this mission in a second. Scotland can actually do the um, the changing as well. So all of this is going. And this is a also a central reformation near Burgundy. So it's good to have that. It's good to have that. Let's deal with that. Why are you on 30? Group up. Why is this? This is completely right. Great. Uh, we'll send you over here. And then we'll... Uh, we'll uh, they still have a lot of ships. There's seven heavies. Um, yeah, we, we, we need more of those ships. Let's get, uh, strengthen the old alliance and defeat the English. Uh, this way we'll actually have claims now on all of England. And we can actually do, instead of conquest, we can do a religious war. So it's less aggressive expansion, which is always good. Uh, my army should be attacking into this grassland fort. And hopefully he will not take this. Please do not take this. It's my luck again. I'm going to bet you. <gasps> he didn't. Oh, that is so lucky. Uh, all of this can just change. So we, um, we're, fl we're fighting. We are winning this. There's no way we can lose. No bloody way we can lose this. Uh, we do want to grow this army though. So this will just go back by itself. You go back over there. And now, let's move you over here. Uh, London is the last thing we'll take, because London has a lot of development. Uh, so I kind of don't want to get into that right now. So how are you guys doing? You're doing quite fine. Uh, Finland, Norway, Scotland, Burgundy, Naples, and Novgorod. Negative 25. Okay, let's just do this for a second here. Let's do own subjects. Uh, oh, wait. You. Not needed over there. You will go to Castile. And we're going to be improving this relation because 75 is just too low. It is way too low. So let's make sure that that does not happen. Do we have royal marriage and stuff like that? You are a junior under me. England's definitely not <laughs> not in that list. How much do my guys say like me? So, we already took the mission. So, we have the claim. So, we don't need Scotland to be up there. We can start. As soon as he's Protestant, we're going to annex him. But we definitely want to deal with that. And actually, Poland is okay with us. Since he is still Catholic. But that will eventually, hopefully, change. Okay, that is done. So, let's go to Paris. And, sorry for that. No edict. And we'll do the same thing over here. And we'll just start somewhere. And hopefully not too many rebels. English separatists. Yeah, look at that. That is a bunch. Scottish separatists. 
Rip up. So how can we grow this one army? I want one more cannon and the rest is just infantry. Let's wait for our ships. We don't need to engage their navy. We'll have Burgundy for that. Great advice died. Rebel uprising, English separatist. Don't actually care about that. So you... Uh, do we have... Maybe a yeah, national unrest would not be such a bad idea currently, right? Let's go back. It's this one. So yeah, there we go. War exhaustion is still high. We can buy that down. Let's click that twice. So almost no uh, religious unity is just plus two and a half. So some of these are actually going to go away. And I like it. So are you in port? You are in port. Uh, let's group you up. We have a general. Uh, we'll save these points currently. Looming disaster. That is fine. Declaring war we need a diplomat. Do I want to do this right now? Like we can call you back. And we can call you both back. Like your vassals. Uh, you're not breaking away unless this is really low. Scotland. Well, we want to annex Finland. And Scotland. Next. And just go. So we'll have France, England, Scotland. And all of the Scandinavian uh, countries. And then... Try moving into Muscovy, and, and then we'll see what happens. I'm so happy that uh, they are no longer allied to the Ottomans. He's a natural uh, ally because he also hates Muscovy and Poland. Uh, and uh, the Ottomans. Mm. Wish I could claim that damn throne. That would be nice. But this guy is just... Yeah... It's just too much. I can't have Austria warring uh, Poland either. So let's go. Uh, is he still? Oh, he's still moving. Never mind. We are not declaring war right now then. What we could do is... How is this going? Let's lower this. Only 23 and then um, 7 is... We're, we're in the positives. We are in the positives. So no worries there. Uh, we do want to do something about... Once, once we take London, that's a lot of cash, guys. Uh, because we'll get a large chunk out of this. Currently, England still holds 40% uh, against our 8. <laughs> so that is not good. Uh, we'll take a lot of this. And the more, is the better. Uh, London, however, has a lot of trade power. It's, I think it's the most in this region. So maybe we should take London... And that would definitely, like the estuaries first. And we need to upgrade the others that we still have. And then we'll be into the money, which is the best thing ever. Okay, what do I need? One guy on him. Naples is still fine. Poland is fine. Finland is good. Novgorod. I, come on, dude. I need you to start claiming stuff. Take this. Take all of this. Start building. What kind of ideas do you have? Plutocratic and admin. Yeah. Okay. Well, eventually we'll have to um, make sure. I, I would like Sweden as a vassal. Uh, I would really like that because they got some really good ideas. Let's move you down here. That guy's over there. There's my final ships. So I'll wait until those troops there. And next episode guys we are we are going to make sure we declare war on england uh, beat sweden into the ground and burgundy will have to prove its words against the others because they are going to be quite annoying and i don't like that and we're building up a new army so we're strong enough uh, we're going to be building up manpower treasury that will be okay we're still at full maintenance and we're just losing seven so actually we're in the positives once this is gone once the, cor the corruption is gone we are in the positives at full maintenance with my forts active i would say that's a win that's a damn win guys so there's my ships they're repairing how is this doing yeah slowly we are reforming these let's take a look at the map 
Yeah, well, uh, it, it will be a long, long time before actually all of this is Protestant, but we'll have to deal with this looming disaster. It is, it is what it is. It is what it is. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I do hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.